everybody it's Amy at Crafty Cat and today I'm knocking everything over uh, we're gonna do the Marguerite Miller collage challenge the Marguerite Miller collage challenge is a 52 week prompt assignment challenge and it's called the collage weekly planner collage challenge because um, she sells a planner that you can do the collages in or you can buy a digital download of uh, the planner and like put it into an altered book or something or you can get um, the assignments just like this at, in um, digital download format that you can cut apart you know like that and um, use in whatever kind of book you want. I am using a mixed media notebook that measures 9 by 12 inches. I like the bigger size that just works better for me. I like to make a big collage so um, but choose what you like. You can get them smaller I mean any kind of book that you want to make it in make it in. Alright, so uh, yeah, like I said, it's a 52 week prompt assignment challenge. You get six prompts a week. One of them is a bonus. You can replace one of the original five with the bonus if there's something that you don't have, don't like, whatever, or you can choose to use all six. So however you want to do it, that's how you'll do it. So I have a collage for each and every um, week of this year and last year. And you can find them all on my playlist, um, my Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge playlist. Um, they're all there. So, uh, yeah, that's where you can get them. Okay, so we are up to week 31. Uh, this was last week's, and I obviously wasn't entirely dry because my ink stuck to this page. I thought it was dry. Anyway, that was last week's. So we're on this week. I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to pause the camera for a second and I'm going to get a throat lozenger because I'm starting to feel the tickle come. Every time I talk, I get the tickle. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just know if I can help it and not cough, that would probably be much better for you to listen to. <laughs> All right. So what we have this week for week 31 is something with a spine. I chose... Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. Like I told you guys, I don't know if you watched my video, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, I mentioned that my daughter and I collaborated to pick the prompts for this um, assignment. And it's, so it's a little, it's a little loopy, but um, that's us. So anyway, something with a spine. A path or road and your least favorite color are going to go together. So a path or road, your least favorite color, are the same thing. It is an orange brick road, not a yellow brick road, an orange brick road. <laughs> um, a formula. I have this paper with all kinds of formulas all over it. Uh, a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. My daughter cut me out the emerald uh, palace. <laughs> from the Wizard of Oz in crossword, <laughs> out of crossword paper. <laughs> so that, uh, we were like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a little loopy. Um, and then a dried leaf or flower. I didn't have any actual dried flowers, but I have this dried uh, washi sticker. There's like pieces of tape, like it's a dried flower. So that was kind of the best I could do. I think I'm going to just put that next to the road. Because remember when they end up with the poisonous flowers and all that. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's what we're going with. <laughs> so it's a little loopy and crazy, but we're like, um, something with a spine can be literally anything, pretty much. I mean, you know, cat, dog, person, uh, a book. There's a lot of things. Uh, but then with the orange and the road, I was like, when I or when Aiden heard about the uh, something made out of a crossword puzzle, she was like, "You could do like a, a house or a castle or something out of a crossword puzzle and a person, and then like an orange road." And then I was like, "Or you could do like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz <laughs> and an orange brick road." <laughs> yeah, it was it was kind of loopy of us, but anyway, it was fun. We have fun. So I'm going to do this like this is the door. So the road's going right up to the door. And then I, I don't want, I obviously kind of want that on the, 
horizon line. So I think I'm going to tear it probably right at that A, basically, I think. Me, me thinks. I don't know, maybe I won't do it quite just totally straight. It might be better if it's a little bit, a little bit something, right? Yeah, it was a whole developing theme. Because I couldn't find a formula in just like black and white that wasn't copyrighted, you know, or had watermarks all over it. I'm, you know, obviously I'm not going to sell this, so it doesn't really matter. I can use it, but um, I have to make sure this is all going to fit on a page. I might, should I orient it maybe the other way? Um, so then I found a green page of the stuff and I was like, oh, that could be like the grass. <laughs> so, cause there was originally grass around this orange brick road. Yeah, I think something like that will work. We just need to tear these sides off cause we don't need it. And then voila, that's where we were at. My son was at work, so he, he was not involved. I, I probably could have had him write me a bunch of formulas. That would have worked too, but he weren't here. I think I'm going to use um, something out of this just for background purposes because I, I want a little bit of something back there. I don't have any, um, like, blue or anything. Hmm. Maybe this page would be good because it's mostly just numbers. For a minute, I thought it was two pages. I'll have to definitely tear around it because I don't like that. But yeah, we had a little fun coming up with stuff. <clears throat> we both kind of have off the wall sense of humor, so it works out well for us. I don't want that that low. I feel like this needs to be behind something, or I mean in front of something. <coughs> Maybe it doesn't. I don't like how flat and straight this is. Um, I still need something else. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still going to end up coughing. Let's see. I'm trying to find something else that might look good. Yeah, I really don't like orange. I'm not really sure why. It's just a color that I don't really like. <clears throat> this be kind of good. Or I do have. God, I still got this. Let's use that. Oh my goodness, what? Did you just say meow? You little cat. Oh my goodness, are you going to talk to everybody? Do you need to come say hi? He needs to say hi. Okay, everybody, look up, look up, look up for just a minute. Just, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> Isn't that very so cute and sweet? Aw. He's a sweetie pie. You can just definitely be a sweetie pie, that's for sure. Other times he can be also a turkey, so you never know what you're going to get. That's Pasha, if you don't know. He's a, he's a Persian. And he's an only baby now, because our other kid cat passed away. We had to have her put to sleep, because she was real sick. And that was awful which I'm sure y'all, y'all been there. Maybe not with a cat, but with a pet. 
and it's not fun. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had to do that, and that was awful. But anyhow, he's a cutie pie, that one, though. Well, she was, too. But They're very different indeed. Okay, that's what I'm going to do, something like that. Those two cats. He's just a nut brain, like today. And he's 11, so he's not like a kitten. <laughs> he's just a nut. Um, today I was making my bed. He comes tearing in the room with a stuffed animal in his mouth. He likes um, those webkins, I think they were called, from when my kids were little. He stole a bunch of them from my daughter, and so they've just become his toys, basically. Um, he always picks out like the white fluffy ones, and I think it's because he's obviously a white and fluffy cat, and he must think like, they're <laughs> his or something I don't know but anyways he always would pick out uh, those or the light pink colored ones and um my son jokes that he's racist but anyways that's a whole nother thing um he brought a poodle in that he plays with all the time it's real floppy and it's got the fuzzy fur and stuff he loves that thing so he carries it around sometimes he comes tearing in the room with the dog in his mouth and drops it and runs under the bed and look and then comes out from under the bed and looks at me and like you know <laughs> so then I kicked the dog <laughs> it's not a real dog it's a stuffed animal <laughs> into the laundry room which is just across from our bedroom he goes tearing after it and it starts off as you know carpet before he hits the linoleum of the laundry room floor and then he just starts sliding because his bottom of his feet are all fur puffy fur comes out of the bottom of his feet he, he doesn't he just has fur everywhere but anyway um sliding and you could hear him and then boom he hit the door that goes out to the garage because he couldn't stop i'm like you're such a ding dong and then i go look at him like are you okay and he's just pouting in the laundry room because he knows he's a dingling Oh my gosh, that cat. He's a nut. Total nut. He's always been a nut, though. He used to take, when he was a kitten, had these little sponges um, for my kids when they would take a bath. They were little, like, uh, shaped like animals or whatever that they'd play with in the bathtub. And um, they were real kind of only like that thick and tiny lightweight and so he would take them and go up to the top of the bathtub and let them go and they'd go down to the bottom of the bathtub then jump in the bathtub and go get it again and keep doing that over and over again he's just always been a noodle but yeah he's fun definitely entertaining there is no doubt about that He's the baby cat. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when we go on our cruise. We haven't gone on a trip in so long because of COVID and everything. At least where somebody wasn't home, like one of the kids or something. So it will be interesting to see. I mean, my sister will come over to take care of him, but he's not going to be happy. Because I'm here all the time. All right, I have to just sort of take a mental image of where that was at. <clears throat> so, yeah, he's a funny one. And he has the cutest little meows. My son's always like, my friends always think he's a girl, Mom. I'm like, well, he's all fluffy and like. I don't know. It just makes you think of that. But. And then the meow is very sweet. We do have fun with him.
this is all Greek to me, this math thing. <coughs> Not my thing. Thankfully, my kids are good at it. I can come down. I think I'll go right mm, about there, I think. Does that work? Yeah. And then this I'm going to have like right alongside the road. Okay. I'm trying to think do I want to put this first or this first? I think I'm going to do the road first. I'm going to ink around this. Yeah, this one's real weird. But my last year one with the spine thing was weird too. It was a skeleton walking down a path. But um, And I almost thought of doing that again, you know, different kind of skeleton or whatever. But I was like, hmm, been there, done that. So I don't want to do that again. Okay, let's do this. And it really needs to go like right about the middle. cough drop definitely helps because once I get started it's over no, oh, I don't want to put that down yet because we've got to put this on and I'm not putting that all the way down yet either Let's see if I can get this sticker off which is never good for me I know there's a trick But I can't ever get it to do it. I wrinkled the bottom, but that's okay. It's going under the road, so. That one was really stuck to that plastic. <laughs> I'm lucky I didn't rip it. Can't say that yet, I guess. It's like the older they are, the harder they are to get off of that. <coughs> oh, I guess I need to put the castle on there too, huh? Oh my goodness. Too many things all at the same spot. I kind of go like that. I don't want it all rolled. <coughs> Gotta move fast on this one. Yeah, we didn't really know how to do the Emerald Castle, but <laughs> I'm like, just whatever will work <coughs> she did good for just chopping it out of a piece of paper mm. yeah I don't have any dried flowers or any I don't really like using things that um, can well, I don't really want to block the door um, get bugs or like any of those kind of things. Do you know what I mean? Does that sound, I don't know, like food wrappers or those kind of things that can't really be washed. I don't know. I don't, I just am worried it's going to cause a problem. I don't mind the flowers in between plastic dried flowers, but if I just put them on that page, I'm afraid they just like crinkle eventually, you know, crumble away to nothing. I don't know. Maybe not, but that's just sort of how I think about it. Follow the orange brick road. <laughs> uh, you just leave my daughter and I alone for a few hours. That's <coughs> what you get. All right, let's see. Tasha, what are you doing? Being adorable. Why? I 
don't know what I did with my bag of stamps. Hold on just a minute. All right, if I get any dinger, you guys dingy, or you guys are gonna have to, you know, commit me or something. It's bad. Right in front of my nose. Like seriously, sitting right there. <laughs> it's just getting. It's getting wow. That's what it's getting. <clears throat> my poor kids and husband. I don't know. They got their work cut out for them. I'm gonna say. I am not a good stamp mom. Just in case you didn't couldn't tell. The problem is, I never have water. You know what I mean? Like, it's not easy to just... I have to go downstairs. Well, I mean, I can go over to the bathroom and get it too, but I just never have it, like, right here. I like... There's this circle right here. I kind of want to continue it. And maybe put the 31 right there. <coughs> oh, another one. Maybe a smaller one would be better. We'll do one of these. One more of these. Because it needs something like right over here. So every once in a while I take them all and give them a bath. All my stamps. And my little blocks. But usually the blocks are stained. So... Not a lot I can do about it. <coughs> mm, trying to decide, I kind of feel like I need one more. Because, you know, the whole odds thing. Threes, fives, sevens so on. way wonky. Lucky that even came out. I don't know if anybody's going to know or get it, but hopefully <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of goofy, <clears throat> but I'll always think of my daughter when I see it, so that's good. Try to get my three right side up this time. <laughs> no, because this way. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, last week I was. It's beyond brain fog for me. It's like complete annihilation of my brain or something with the COVID deal. <clears throat> it's been bad. I mean, I was already dingy, so it's just completely. <clears throat> There 
it is. Another week in the book. So, where's my little... Uh oh, oh, there it is. We have something with the spine is Dorothy, well, and Toto, actually, right? A path or road. Your least favorite color is the orange. A formula all over, crossword. Um, bonus, a dried leaf or flower, and I have that flower there. I hope everybody gets the orange part. Hopefully they will, since it's not yellow. So, anyway, that's it. You guys will know, because you heard me. So, ta-da. All right, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and we will chat again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.